Now, why is all of this required when the design itself is accurate with correct measurements and scale? Well, every design that you create must be geographically located somewhere in this world, correct? Geocoordination and microstation refers to the process of establishing a relationship between the design elements in a microstation file and their corresponding geographic location in the real world. This allows you to visualize and analyze your design in the context of the real world and perform spatial analysis and measurements. Performing geocoordination gives spatial context to projects as it helps to determine the physical and social environment in which the design will exist. It provides information on the surrounding structures, available resources, the background and user behavior. This information helps designers to create designs that are appropriate, functional, and responsive to their context, leading to more successful and impactful design. There are several advantages to using geocoordination. For example, when the same geographic coordinate system is used for multiple design files, they can be easily referenced to each other. Even if there is data in a different geographic coordinate system that you want to use as part of your project, you can still use it by reprojecting the data to the active geographic coordinates. In addition, you can take your design into the field on a mobile computer and can interface with a global positioning system device to correlate your physical position with the design. A geographic coordinate system can be applied to both the structural scale as well as the earth scale data. You can apply it to any data of any scale as long as the data is not some manufactured part or component with no fixed earth location to which geocoordination cannot be applied. With MicroStation providing access to the most accurate and up-to-date coordinate systems, it is rare not to find the one you're looking for in your projects. Now, the design that you see on the screen consists of the existing bikeways in the city of Peterborough in Ontario, Canada. Let's open the geographic coordinate system dialog. Since there is no GCS already defined, it says none at present. There are a number of ways to assign a geographic coordinate system. One of the ways is to assign a GCS from an existing library. MicroStation provides us with a vast library of coordinate systems to choose from across the globe. I know Peterborough falls in UTN Zone 17 North, so I'm going to choose one of the coordinate systems that I think fits the closest to the local area. I'm going to choose NAD 27-1976 UTM Zone 17 North. Here are all the settings associated with this particular coordinate system, like the projection used, units, latitude, longitude values, ellipsoid information, etc. Once I click OK, the coordinate system is defined and all these blank spaces are filled with the corresponding information. Similarly, you can import a coordinate system from a reference, from a file, and also from place marks, which I'm going to talk more about later in this session. You can also apply the coordinate system to any of your references. It can all be done right here. And then you also have an option to edit your reprojection settings in both your references as well as your active model. Let's check using a background map to make sure the data falls in the right location geographically. This looks like it's aligned well. Let's turn off the background image. You can open your current location in Google Maps too. Click on Open Location in Google Maps. You can select the style and view of your choice. We have a number of options to choose from. You can play around with each option to see what you like the most. You can also set the zoom factor. The higher the number, the more zoomed in the location will be. This is the location that we are looking at in MicroStation. To 
did you know that you can create a custom GCS from an existing one and change data and ellipsoid for your choice? Copy the file seed.dty from the location that you see on the screen to your desired location and give it your desired name. Now, open configuration variables from File, Settings, Configuration in MicroStation and look for a config variable named ms underscore your coordinate underscore user library. Once you select it, navigate to the folder where you copied the seek.dty file. Make sure it is reflected in the expansion window. Click OK and save changes to the configuration file. Now open your DGN file and go to coordinate systems. Select from library and there you have it. It's SIG in the list along with your favorites and library. To create a custom coordinate system, select any coordinate system that you think is the closest to your specifications. Copy it by right-clicking on that coordinate system and paste it in the SIG folder. Right-click on the pasted GCS and select Edit Geographic Coordinate System. You can change the name of the GCS to differentiate it from the remaining. To edit datums and ellipsoids, you can right-click on the SCGSIG folder and you'll see the respective options. Select Edit Datums, create a new one, see that you have all the options that you require. Finally, double-check to see that the new datum is in the list. Click Done. In the same way, select Edit Ellipsoids, create a new ellipsoid, Make sure you have all the options you want. Double check to see the new ellipsoid is reflected in the list and click done. There you have it, a custom GCS tailored to meet the needs of your projects. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.